Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have been sewing all weekend long. I'm, I have so much stuff going on and so many awesome projects and I'm really excited, but I wanted to stop and do this DIY no sew tutorial for you guys. I'm going to be doing a series. So this is the first tutorial of the DIY no sew series and um, we are going to be making a hammock. So this hammock is about 12 by 12, but honestly you could make this in any size. Um, you can make it for your ferret, your chinchilla, your rats, however you want to do it. You could also add um, an absorbent layer in the center if you wanted to, and you could hang it a couple of different ways. So that's the cool part about this. But I'm just gonna jump right into the video. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and click that notification button and you'll know every time I upload a video. <laughs> So for this project, you're going to need a pair of scissors or even something like this that's sharp. You're going to need two pieces of fleece um, that are right sides together like this. You can do this in any size. So mine's about, it's about 12 by 12. So that's the two pieces of fleece. You're going to need four strips and you want them to be like this. Ouch. So you want one for each corner and you want about maybe four to five inches, six inches on each end. So you're gonna have four strips to do each four sides. And then you're gonna to wanna to get some hooks. These I got on Amazon. You can buy um, like 50 of these for, I think it's like three or four dollars. Um, you can also use these, which you get at Walmart. These are 99 cents and you get two of them. Okay. So if you have safety pins, um, you can use these since it's a no sew and a lot of people don't have sewing stuff. But if you have pins, like if you do sew anything, maybe just pin this in place so it doesn't move. Just a couple pins. It doesn't need anything fancy. And put the pin spacing in so you don't um, stab yourself. Okay, so take one of your strips, get your sharp scissors or whatever. You're gonna find the center of your corner and you're gonna poke a hole in it. Okay, you guys, I wasn't recording, so that wasn't really helpful. So now you can poke the hole in the corner right here, if you can see that. I'm assuming that, that you can. So you got a hole here. See the hole, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're going to take your black strip and you're gonna go through that hole. And the easiest way to do that is to probably use your something pointy to push the this through the hole, this fleece. So if you see it comes up through the hole like this, and then you're gonna grab it. All right, yay! Okay, now you're gonna pull this. Actually, no, you're not. <laughs> Don't listen to me. Leave about this much, like, hanging loose. Now you're gonna take your black piece and you're going to poke another hole about an inch away. So you want another hole about an inch, inch and a half away. So we're just going to poke this hole here. I already did this. Um, and you're going to go up from the underneath side again. And you're going to put your piece through there. So now you should have something that looks like this. Again, you're going to poke a hole about an inch away. I already, again, like I already did this because I wasn't recording, so I had to take it all out. Okay. Now we got our hole. You're going to, again, come through the bottom. Okay. You're going to just pull this. should have something that looks like this. Now just turn it to the side and what we're going to do is you're going to get your next strip and 
you are going to do the same thing. So, but the only thing is you got to take this strip and put it through the same hole as, as this. So we're, this may be a tight fit, but we can do it. So we're just going to put that there. There we go. And just leave about the same. So you have about the same length. And now you're gonna do the same thing that you did here, over here. Okay, so once you done all four sides you should have something that looks like this you should have two four you should have eight tails really but two in each corner is that right yeah okay so here's what you can do these are i forgot to mention this in the beginning of the video these are just shower hooks that's all they are you could probably get them at the hardware store or even at walmart or like i said before you can use um these it's up to you you could also, if you made these longer, you could just tie this into your cage, which you probably don't want to do that. So what I would do, and you can leave the tails, you can not leave the tails. So I would, um, depending on how long you want it, I probably would want mine to be like a little bit longer. So I'm probably going to use the tails and use them to hang stuff, hang it with. So what we're going to do is we're going to tie a knot in each of the tails. do this on both sides on all four sides I'm gonna actually go see how I need to tie it so it fits for my cage but you have a million options as to how to make it long enough you can even add an extra piece of fleece to make this longer if you wanted to um, but anyway this is the no so hammock I think it's adorable so here is the hammock you guys and um, I hung it with double hooks here, so it'll be long enough. And Bear is obviously enjoying it. He's cleaning himself, being like uber adorable. Look at how cute he is. Oh my God, how do you not just love that?